Good morning, everyone. Today is uh, Monday. I got to run a bunch of errands. And so uh, I was planning on renting a car today, but my uh, friend offered me this uh, Forerunner. He did an oil change and but it runs good so we're, we're gonna help each other out so instead of renting a car i'm gonna be using this toyota forerunner uh, during my stay here and i'm very grateful because i'm saving <laughs> quite a bit of money and also helping him out because the car needs a few things minor stuff like i said since it's been sitting for a while needs a battery and uh uh, also, I have to do the inspection on it, uh, but we'll take care of that. It's no big deal. But I'm going to be paying for all that, and I'm still going to give them some money for it, too. So that way it's equal, uh, helping each other out. All right, I'll go into the pitfalls of renting cars here in Costa Rica. You definitely want to stay tuned for that. All right, so now I'm going into uh, Haku. If you want to come to Costa Rica, you want to rent a car. A few things you should know. First is that, uh, yeah, yeah on the, online, it looks like it's a really good deal, but then Costa Rica has what's known as mandatory insurance. It doesn't matter what type of credit card you have um, that covers your car rental, they're gonna get you. So I'm gonna come and check this place out that I just passed, but today I have a bunch of errands to run. So there's economy rent a car, you can see by the the stop right there um, and also all the main players are here um, whether you're in here or at the airport but keep in mind do your homework if you rent at the airport you're gonna pay an, uh, on top of everything else as far as I know you're gonna pay the regular tax and an airport tax and they don't tell you that until you're ready to leave and then you're stuck the insurance, the insurance can run up to, I think the minimum insurance, and don't hold me to this, is $15 per day. Uh, and that's mandatory, no getting around it. Doesn't matter if you have the Graphite, American Express, the, the premium of the premiums, you're gonna be paying for insurance if you wanna rent a car here. So take that into consideration if you're gonna be driving um, like I don't plan uh, to be going to a lot of you know exploring a lot because I've lived here and been here done that so the fact that uh, I'm using this car is a huge help to me for running errands instead of uh, paying taxes but if you're not gonna be exploring and you're gonna be in one central location I recommend taking taxis versus renting a car that's you know it'll, it'll come out cheaper you know to, for, to come from Hako to here I'm sorry from the airport to here it's about an hour 15 minutes uh, usually that's, you can negotiate it's about a hundred dollars each way if you pick up a rental car at the airport like I said you're gonna be paying mucho taxes and insurance so and then driving these roads they're pretty good but they can also be challenging if you're not used to Central America or Latin American countries now this place is recommended they rent bikes and uh, they also rent cars here in Haco I don't know uh, what the deposit requirements are but I'm gonna try to find out Let's see if they let me film but I hear they're uh, more customer friendly and uh, we'll see so 50 per day and that's how much for the week for so basically $50 per day that includes insurance there's no getting around the insurance and a $600 deposit that's for a week or more and this is the place so renting a car in Costa Rica is not cheap bicycle is a good way to go or taking taxis and the bus system here is, is fairly uh, reasonable if you don't mind uh, taking the bus all right so I hope that is helpful please leave me a comment if you have any questions we we'll keep this video short regarding car rentals i might add a little to it here when i stop in at an actual car rental agency and if i get their permission to to film i will 
uh, but uh, yeah so I just want to make a video about uh, renting a car so that if you're coming down here and you see that great deal on the internet which is nine dollars a day for a compact car do some due diligence because that's not the fees that you're going to be paying so everybody be renting them at nine dollars a day trust me there even the locals will be renting them at nine dollars a day so there's a lot of hidden fees and they don't tell you about that until it's time for you to pay and then you're stuck all right please uh hit the like button and leave me a comment uh, or if you're planning to visit costa rica if you have any questions free to leave me a comment see you on the next video